the topic of abortion. I believe in the exceptions for rape, incest, and the life of the mother. I think it's very important. Some people don't. Follow your heart. During the debate, Trump took credit for the Supreme Court's decision to strike down Roe v. Wade, arguing the issue should be left up to the states. Biden slammed Trump for the Roe decision and claimed the former president would sign a national abortion ban into law if he's elected to the White House in November. And Biden stumbled at times during the night on CNN, reportedly sparking concerns among Democrats over his age and ability to take on Trump in November. The, 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 the total initiative relative to what we've been doing with more border patrol and more asylum officers. I really don't know what he said at the end of this. I don't think he knows what he said either. Both candidates hurled personal insults at one another and accused each other of being the worst president in U.S. history. That's politics. Mark Napier, NBC News Radio. COVID is on the rise in the U.S. as new variants power a summer surge. According to the CDC, infections are growing in at least 38 states. They're especially high in the western and southern U.S. The FDA also endorsed a plan earlier this month to update the COVID vaccines to be more effective against new variants. The Supreme Court of Texas is upholding a law that bans transgender medical care for children. Justices agreed with the state attorney general's office, which defended the bill back in January. Parental liberty interests are not in conflict with the state's well-recognized authority to regulate parents and medicine. That's Assistant Solicitor General Natalie Thompson. Several Texas families sued to stop the law they argued it violates their parental rights and discriminates against transgender children on the basis of sex. Health Update, Sarah Lee Kessler, NBC News Radio. On this final trading day of the month, quarter, and first half of the year, Wall Street with mixed up. The past six months have been strong for the markets. The Nasdaq leading the way, up about 19% thanks to the rally in AI and mega cap tech stocks. The S&P 500 is up nearly 15%, while the Dow is only up about 4%. A key indicator shows inflation has slowed to its lowest annual rate in over three years. The personal consumption expenditure price index rose about 0.1% for the month and was up 2.6% from a year ago. The year-over-year number is down 0.2% from its April level. Both numbers came in right at what was projected. The index is used by the Federal Reserve to gauge inflation. A federal jury says the NFL must pay nearly $5 billion in damages for overcharging subscribers of its Sunday ticket package, Bertha Combs reports. Plaintiffs in the case accusing the NFL of conspiring with teams to inflate the price of Sunday ticket for millions of residents and other subscribers. DirecTV was the sole distributor of Sunday ticket until this past season. The season-long subscription now costs as much as $400. $49. Walgreens will be closing what it calls a significant number of stores across the U.S. Tammy Trujillo has more. The drugstore chain made that announcement Thursday and said it plans to close underperforming stores as part of a multi-year strategy. Walgreens didn't specify how many of its stores will be closing, but CEO Tim Wentworth told the Wall Street Journal that it will be a meaningful percent. I'm Tammy Trujillo. Many black Americans on social media are demanding to know what Donald Trump meant by black jobs in Thursday's debate. When Trump and President Biden were asked during the debate what they had done for black voters, Trump responded by claiming that undocumented immigrants were taking black jobs. The comments drew a negative response from the NAACP and DNC chairman, Jamie Harrison. Consumer and Business News, Aaron Rael, NBC News Radio. You are listening to NBC News Radio. shoes are now up for auction. The bidding started at $70,000. The British auction house Henry Aldridge and Son is handling the sale. Elvis's famous footwear expected to bring in about $150,000. Don't let the sound of your the Eagles extending their residency at the Sphere in Las Vegas, and it hasn't even started yet. The band now has a total of 16 concerts over eight weekends, beginning in September and running through December. General ticket sales for the new date start July 12th on the Eagles website. Tenacious D announcing a fall 2024 tour around the U.S. The duo head out for five dates, October 21st, beginning in Columbus, Ohio. They're also playing in Bloomington, Indiana, Madison, Wisconsin, and Kalamazoo, Michigan, before wrapping these up at State College, PA, October 26th. Tenacious D tickets on sale now. And in theaters, The Quiet Place, day one, is getting off to a loud start at the box office. The third installment in The Quiet Place franchise serves as a prequel to the first two movies, and it takes place in New York City creatures first made. It's expected to bring in between 40 and 50 million this weekend. Also new this week, Kevin Costner's Horizon and American Saga Chapter 1. That's projected to bring in between 10 and 15 million in its debut. This
blockbuster series, Yellowstone. That's entertainment. I'm Liz Porter, NBC News Radio. <laughs> protections Uber and
win their series in New York against the Mets. It took them a long time. They go to 11 innings, but it is a 10 to 5 Houston win. They finished the month with a record of 17 and 8. NBA free agency. James Harden and the Clippers agree to a two year, $70 million deal. The Warriors wave Chris Paul, and Clay Thompson is likely gone. And that's Sports Dan Gatowski, NBC News Radio. NBC News Radio. I'm Chris Baraggio. Top Democrats are coming to President Biden's defense following his debate performance last week. In an interview with CNN's State of the Union, former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi conceded that Biden had a bad night, but urged voters to look at his record. She argued it's not about performance in terms of the debate, but performance in a presidency. She also sharply criticized former President Trump, claiming that Americans are aware of all the lies he told on the debate stage. North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum says President Biden is not capable of serving as Commander-in-Chief. That's what he told NBC's Meet the Press days after the debate. Burgum argued that the U.S. is facing a greater national security risk today because the nation's adversary, saw Biden, is not capable of serving. Most of the country is expected to be suffering scorching temperatures for the 4th of July. Record temps are expected nationwide, with humidity in the south and making areas such as New Orleans feel nearly 120 degrees. Heat advisories are in effect for much of the east coast as well. I'm Chris Baraggio, NBC News Radio. The news you want, when you want it. You're listening to NBC News Radio on iHeartRadio. During Thursday's debate posted by CNN, President Biden and former President Donald Trump clashed over the topic of abortion. I believe in the exceptions for rape incest and the life of the mother. I think it's more important. Some people don't. Follow your heart. During the debate, Trump took credit for the Supreme Court's decision to strike down Roe v. Wade arguing the issue should be left up to the states. Biden slammed Trump for the Roe decision and claimed the former president would sign a national abortion ban into law if he's elected to the White House in November. And Biden stumbled at times during the night on CNN, reportedly sparking concerns among Democrats over his age and ability to take on Trump in November. The, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more border patrol and more sidewalks. I wrote I don't know what he said at the end of this sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Both candidates hurl personal insults at one another and accuse each other of being the worst president in U.S. history. Well, that's politics. Mark Nicky, NBC News Radio. Right, right now. 
Yeah, I don't know what he thought, but I don't really care. It's all his crap.
No. The verdict of history, Your Majesty. Echoes from the past, glimpses of the future. Letters, sir. Diaries, memoirs, journals, papers. Life and times, truth counts. Mm, not sure. Prime resources. Guarantee authentic. Stop slamming the door, damn. How many times do I have to tell you not to slam the door? Stop slamming it. Damn. Fucking asshole. Disability or not, that is not appropriate to do. Dang, he has a major anger issues. Always slamming doors, always fucking screaming, trying to cause an accident. Uh, you cannot do that, I don't care. Like a Rayus jersey, yes. Cool. Very hot. Very, very hot. Like a jersey, that's pretty cool. Nice jersey, that's cool. Go Raiders, nice. Nice jersey.
search for the one and find your perfect mattress match at Mancini Sleep World. Uh, to be there are July 4th yeah. sales events. Temper Clinic mattresses starting at $29 per month and service starting at $3.99. Plus, save 20% on other products, Helix, and Casper mattresses. Nice tattoos, that's cool. Like you sleep, that's really hot. Oh, sorry, I got some belt on. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Fox, CNBC, and Search your favorite news station. 